Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and today I'm going to talk about the concept of CAGR, which is the compounded annual growth rate. Now, CAGR is a term which you might have come across numerous times when you are going through various financial newspapers, financial magazines, journals, or if you're going through any of these financial uh, uh, news channels. Now, this is a term which kind of records at numerous instances wherein, wherein a firm or a company uh, wants to depict that how good or bad have they been doing um, annually. So this is an average annual rate, which tells me that, okay, during this on an annual basis, at what average rate has the company grown or is expected to grow in the near future. So um, let us go ahead and uh, uh, dig deep into this and try to understand that what, what exactly is this term. Now, rather than going directly and delving into uh, a complicated definition, let us build up a scenario. And through this scenario, we will try and understand the concept. So um, in this case, uh, uh, you can see on the screen that I've depicted a timeline with two uh, figures uh, mentioned that that is a sales figure and the year in which the uh, this much amount of sales was uh, has uh, occurred so um, i'm assuming that let's say i'm running a business and in the year 2010 my business generated a sales of rupees 5 lakh then in the next year 2011 uh, the generated sales were 12 lakh in 2012, the sales was 10 lakh, 2013, it was 15. And then in 2014, the sales figure was rupees 10 lakh. So uh, I have different sales figure across five different years on this timeline, which we can see on the screen. Now, looking at this various sales figure, we can go ahead and do a comparison between sales of two uh, different years and see whether the sales have grown or dipped so as we can see um, between 2010 and 11 the sales actually grew by 7 lakh it grew from 5 lakh to 12 lakh and this was equivalent to or equal to a 140 percent increase which is the growth um, uh, the, gr the uh, sales growth amount which is 7 lakh divided by the initial sales which is 5 lakh into 100 and that's how i arrive at the percentage increase in sales similarly i can get the percentage growth or dip in sales for the remaining three time intervals also and along with the percentage increase or decrease so between 2011 12 there was a dip in sales from 12 lakh to 10 lakh that was a dip of 12 lakh and it was a 17 percent dip between 12 13 the sales again grew by 5 lakh and this was a 50% rise in sales and then in the last case there was a dip uh, again a dip of 5 lakh which was a 33% dip in sales compared to the previous year now looking at this com complete picture although i can do a comparison of sales between the previous years and the current year or uh, comparison between different years uh, but I do not have a single representative number of this overall uh, sales pattern, which can give me a picture of how good or bad the business has done within this period of five years, within this time interval of four years. I do not have a single representative average percentage rate, which can depict the overall sales pattern or uh, overall sales pattern in this case. Because I can, what we can see is that the sales pattern hasn't been con consistent. In some cases, in some time intervals, uh, it has grown and then in other cases it has dipped. So I do not have a single representative average percentage rate. So what I need in this case is a single growth rate an an, or an annual average growth rate, which can give me an overall picture of how good or bad the business has done. Now, this single growth rate or the average annual growth rate is what is called as the CAGR. This is nothing but the compounded annual growth rate. And we, in this case, in our example, we are going to represent the CAGR with a small r. 
So let us go ahead and now do a little bit of calculation and try to calculate that value of r, small r or the CAGR. So what we have to find it in this case is that what will be that rate small r or the CAGR at which the initial sales figure in 2010 which is 5 lakh will grow to the final sales figure in 2014 which is 10 lakh. So at this consistent rate r this 5 lakh should reach the sales value of 10 lakh over the period of four years right so this initial 5 lakh in first case it grew at a rate of small r and it become 5 into 1 plus r then again the sales figure which we get in 2011 it again grows at the same r percentage and it becomes 5 into 1 plus r that is the sales figure of the previous year 2011 multiply by additional 1 plus r same thing happens in the case of in year 2013 and in the year 2014 also and in this way we arrive at the final sales figure which is 5 multiplied by 1 plus r into 1 plus r into 1 plus r into 1 plus r so if the initial sales figure of 5 lakh grows at a consistent rate of r then over the then uh, in the next four years, the final sales figure which I'm going to get will be 5 into 1 plus R into 1 plus R into 1 plus R into 1 plus R. Now let's do some uh, mathematical calculation and arrive at this value of small r. So in this case, I clearly know that the sales figure for 2014 is 10 lakh. So this 10 lakh will be equal to the uh, this 10 lakh will be equal to 5 multiplied by 1 plus r 1 into 1 plus r into 1 plus r into 1 plus r so solving this equation further 10 is equals to 5 into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of 4 now r is a percentage so i can write r as r by 100 and because 1 plus r is repeated four times so i have written that as a power of 4 what so next uh, step 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power 4 is equals to 10 by 5 5 shifts to the other side of the equation this is equals to 1 plus r by 100 equals to 10 by 5 is 2 and 4 shifts to other side of the equation and it becomes 1 by 4 next r by 100 is equals to 2 to the power of 1 by 4 minus 1 1 which is on the left side of the equation shifts to another side and it becomes minus one in this way solving the equation we get the final value of r uh, as 18.92 percent so this 18.92 percent is the CAGR it is the average annual growth rate at which this 5 lakh rupees has grown over the next four years to arrive at the final sales value of 10 lakh so this is this average rate is representative of the overall growth pattern in sales in over the next four years so this is what the concept of CAGR is all about I hope you understand it and next time when you come across this term you can clearly come to certain conclusions much quicker thanks for watching